This is the internet game where daring determines the fate of the players. This is the game of strategy, luck, and knowledge. This is Bullseye! And now here's your host star Bullseye, Brandon Scrub. Hello! Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in to our final episode of this season. It is the championship game here on Bullseye. Glad you could all be part of this here with us. We've had an amazing season, and we have our final two players still standing in our Tournament of Champions. One of them today will walk out of here $100,000 richer with a chance at $1 million on Bonus Island, possibly $2 million. We'll talk about that when we get there. For now, let's introduce our contestants who are going to be playing in today's championship game. In our champion's position, he's our overall number two seed in our tournament. And with season winnings totaling $86,600, meet Kevin Henry. His opponent, our overall number three seed in our tournament of champions, with season winnings totaling $51,000, meet Paul Shear. Gentlemen, welcome to the championship round. Hello, Brandon. Glad you both could be here to do this. Uh, we'll start with you, Kevin. A very impressive run you've had all season. You were, you've had an amazing games. You've won big, especially toward the end of our season here. I feel like you've been with us for the better part of the last like five, six episodes now. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but you've made it here. You are one more win away from walking out of here to season one champion. You think you've got what it takes tonight? I have what it takes, but look who's standing next to me. This is true. This is true. A man who whose trivia mind is quite profound and had a had a small run here on the shell, but it was more than enough to get him into our tournament of champions. Paul, welcome back, sir. Yeah, thank God. That was the big thing for me was making it into the tournament. Um, Kevin, respect the hell out of you. So just, just have a good game and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Just pray to the trivia gods that get some questions that I know. You know, maybe you have some categories that are stuff that I don't know. So, you know, we'll see. Good game. Well, it's uh, deep dish pizza meets La Rosa's pizza. Cheap little plug for the Cincinnati area. I say, who wins this fight? Thin crust for the win. <laughs> All right, we're done. I'm out of here. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's, it's, it's going to be a good one nonetheless, but let's get to it. You guys know how the game works. I normally make We normally make some sort of modification for the championship game, but no, the way this particular game's design works here, I feel it is best to have these two just go straight up one game, First to five thousand dollars wins is our season one champion and goes on to bonus island for a shot possibly up to two million dollars. All right. With that said, I wish you both best of luck. Let's take a look at our subjects we're gonna be using in this championship game of Bullseye. Starting with the left window, we find the categories of technology, food and drink, sports and music and for the right window we find the categories of entertainment trends grab bag and finally controversies and of course the bottom window is our contract window numbers one through five along with the bullseye in there which will determine how many questions you must answer to complete that contract remember if a bullseye should come up you can answer as many questions as you like in any particular category as long as you continue to get them right or you can stop at any time so, with that said, we're all set to go. Kevin, as the higher seat, you have the control of the board first. Best of luck. Let's put it into motion. And when you are ready. All right. It's on my Donkey Kong. Stop. We have music for $600 a question. 
grab bag for $400 a question, and the contract is one question. Thank goodness. Huh. Uh, of those two, I just have to hope I get the right music question. So music, please. All right, go on with music here. Music is a $600 contract for just one question, and here it comes under the category of music. Kevin, which of these is true about Kanye West's nonsensical single, Lift Yourself? Again, which of, these is tr which of the following statements is true about Kanye West's nonsensical single, Lift Yourself? Is it A, Kanye accidentally released the song, B, Kanye originally did the vocals as a placeholder, then kept them. C, Drake liked the beat and wanted to collaborate with Kanye on it, but didn't get the chance. Or D, it won Complex's Song of the Year award. When in doubt, Charlie out. I'll say C. C, and Drake liked the beat and wanted to collaborate with Kanye on it, but didn't get the chance. And that is a correct answer, sir. You got it. Oh, fun. As you can tell, I had no clue. <laughs> I would have got it wrong. I actually do like Kanye, but I would have yeah. said A. Well, that's a it's good not one. that I don't like him. I just did. I had no clue. <laughs> well, if it, if it makes you feel better, I haven't even heard the single myself, so I couldn't have told you yeah, any better or whatever. No. But I did look it up, and let's say it did, looks, this, the fact is clue, true, sir. So, Kevin. You completed the one-question contract. It must have been a tough, grueling measure for you to do so. You have $600 in the pot and a choice to make. You can take that money and bank it or leave it in the bank and we go for another spin. What do you want to do? I'm going to keep going. All right. Figured you might. Here we go. Put that board in motion. And here we go. All right. Stop. We have music for $400 a question. Grab bag for three hundred dollars a question, and the contract is one question. Are <laughs> Do we? Do I dare? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. You know what? Grab bag. Why not? All right. Yes. Going with questions from the old grab bag. Okay. Door. All right. Out of the grab bag, here it is. Again, one question contract. This one is worth $300 to you, sir. Okay. All right. Which one of these viral videos did Osama bin Laden reportedly have on his computer when he was killed? Again, which of these viral videos did Osama bin Laden reportedly have on his computer when he was killed? Was it A, Catch Me Outside, B, Lazy Sunday, C, Charlie bit my finger, or D, double rainbow? <laughs> um, when in doubt, Charlie out. I'll say C again. <laughs> I don't know. Charlie bit my finger? I love that one, but I it's, don't know. It's a funny one. It's also the correct answer. You got it. Oh, out of town. God. Yeah, accor wow. according to the reports uh, found when they were ser searching the cave after killing Osama bin Laden, they were going through the computer and they found the Charlie Bit My Finger video on there. I'll be dog. You could you imagine him watching Catch Me Outside? How about that? <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's getting it's shot. It's the, 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 yeah, the, the irony of the whole situation would have been <laughs> hilarious, but at the same time very ironic. But nonetheless... You got it right, Kevin. You've got $900 in the pot now, and again, another choice to make. Take that money and bank it, or risk it and go on for another spin. What do you want to do? I got to go on. All right. No shame there. Let's put the board in motion, and when you are ready. Okay, come on. <laughs> Something other than those two. Stop. We have sports for $500 question. Grab back for four hundred dollars a question, and the contract is a bullseye. Ooh. Oh mercy! Well, this could get interesting really quickly. Kevin, which category would you like? Gotta go sports. I had a feeling that's the way, where, where you were going. All right, sports question at five hundred dollars a piece means you would need to answer nine of them correctly to give you the money you would need to win the game. So. Under the category of sports, 
Here is your first question, sir. All right. In 2014, then Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston shoplifted what decadent item from a supermarket? Again, in 2014, then Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston shoplifted what decadent item from a supermarket? Was it A, crab legs, B, filet mignon, C, full grass, or D, caviar? Florida, so let's say crab legs. That's right. right. Crab legs is the correct answer. You got it. Was that on Jeopardy or something? No, no. I was a big story when I was in college, and one of my friends went to uh, the U, Miami, University of Miami. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. All right. Yep. Uh, it, it, it broke the yeah. news right because it was right before he was about to get drafted to the <laughs> NFL. Yeah. So yeah. that was one of the things that could have cost him his draft spot. All right, Kevin. You got that one right. You've got 14. Don't imagine dollars. that. Right. It wasn't C. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It, well, it wasn't. <laughs> yes, not every answer is going to be C on here. Just. <laughs> Just for the record. So did... <laughs> but all right, you got 1400 Kevin. Would you like another question in sports, or you want to stop here? I'll continue. Okay. Here he is, under sports. What does Bill Belichick, coach of the New England Patriots, wear at nearly every football game? Again, what does Bill Belichick, coach of the New England Patriots, wear at every football game? Is it a rain jacket, even if it's not raining? A hoodie with the sleeves cut short, an ugly visor, or a full suit? I've always seen him wear a hoodie. And that is a correct answer. You got it. He's giving the hundred thousand. All right. Up to nineteen hundred dollars in the pot. Would you like another one? I would. All right. Continuing on in the category of sports. Here it is. Kevin, Pittsburgh Steelers receiver Juju Smith-Schuster started a Twitter search party to find what? Again, Pittsburgh Steelers receiver Juju Smith-Schuster started a Twitter search party to find what? Was it A, his stolen bike, B, an elusive Pokemon in Pokemon Go, C, his pet pig Rufus, or D, a bag of money he accidentally left at a restaurant? Uh, A bike, stolen bike. Stolen bike is the correct answer. You got it. All right, $2,400 now in the pot for you, Kevin. You still got control. Would you like another question? That just seemed the least stupid. <laughs> That's why I went with that. Um, <clears throat> I'll continue. All right. Another question it is under the category sports. Here it comes for you, sir. After some investigating... Fans realized that Serena Williams won the 2017 Australian Open under what circumstances? Again, after some investigating, fans realized that Serena Williams won the 2017 Australian Open under what circumstances? Was it A, having a torn ACL, B, being pregnant, C, having pneumonia, or D, not being able to see out of one eye because of complications from the flu? I will say she was pregnant. Jesus. And you are a right. right answer. You got it. Jesus. What's going on here? Good guess, sir. Twenty nine hundred. Yep, twenty nine hundred dollars now in the pot, sir. Would you like another question? Yes. Okay. Going on. Which of these is not a real piece of Dallas Cowboys merchandise? Again, which of the following is not a real piece of Dallas Cowboys merchandise? Is it A, business cards with fan listed as the occupation? B, a toaster that burns the Cowboys star logo onto the toast? C, a satellite dish cover? Or D, a mailbox? Not official. Yes. Which one is not a real piece of Dallas Cowboys merchandise? I'll say a mailbox. And the mailbox is incorrect. Well, that's what I. Paul, a break for you here again. Which of these is not a real piece of Dallas Cowboys merchandise? Is it business cards with fan listed as the occupation, a toaster that burns the Cowboys star logo into the toast, or a satellite dish cover? Well, I'm going to pull a Charlie on Kevin. I'm going to go C. A satellite <laughs> dish cover, and unfortunately, yeah. that is wrong. 
Yeah, I didn't know. The correct answer there was actually a business card that read fan listed as an occupation there. So, really? Yep. Alrighty. Not, an of, know. not an official piece of Cowboys merchandise, and that kills the bullseye contract there. So we have $2,900 in the pot, and Kevin, since you gave me the last correct answer, you are in control of the money right now. A decision needs to be made. You could take that money and bank it or risk it and go on for another contract. But don't make that decision right now because we need to take a commercial break. We'll come back and we'll see how this championship game plays out here on Bullseye right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Bullseye. Here our championship game between Kevin and Paul. Right now, nobody has yet to bank any money, but we do have $2,900 in the pot. And Kevin, you have control right now, so the option is yours. Take that money and bank it and give it control to Paul or risk it, leave it in the pot, and go for another spin. What do you want to do? Now that I've got a feel for these questions, I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to bank it. Going to bank the yeah. money. All right. No shame in that. Bank of the money. All right. Kevin's on the board now with $2,900. And Paul, here comes your first crack at our bo yeah. game board. You ready? Yeah. All right. Best of luck. Let's go ahead and get the categories in motion. And when uh, you're ready. Stop, please. We have music for $400 a question. Entertainment for $300 a question. And the contract is? Three questions. There is another number down there besides one. Just checking. Oh. Well, Kevin is older and wiser than me, so he's he's lived and seen all the movies and stuff. So <laughs> I'm gonna go with music. All right, go with music then. All right, I whack him with my walker <laughs> after the show. Right, right now. <laughs> All right, three-question contract here under the category of music, making this contract worth $1,200 here. In 2014, Macklemore beat out Kendrick Lamar for a Grammy Award for Best Rap Album. What did Macklemore do after that? Again, in 2014, Macklemore beat out Kendrick Lamar for the Grammy Award for Best Rap Album. What did he do after that? Was it A, give the award to Kendrick after the show, B, form, formally forfeited the award back to the Grammys. C, spiked the trophy on the ground like a football. Or D, texted Kendrick after the show saying that he should have won. Man, those are all so plausible. I thought you were going to ask, like, what song or what was the album name, which I think I could do, but this, I have no recollection. Um... Uh, can you repeat option A, please? Sure. Gave the award back to Kendrick after the show. B, was formally forfeited the award back to the Grammys. C, spiked the trophy on the ground like a football. Or D, texted Kendrick after the show saying he should have won. A, I, I, I don't know. Gave the award to I, Kendrick. I, that is yeah. incorrect. <laughs> Kevin, chance for you to take over the contract here. Again, the other choices were formally forfeited the award back to the Grammys, spiked the trophy on the ground like a football, or texted Kendrick after the show saying he should have won. I'll say D, the text message. The text message is the correct answer. You got it. I just don't see anyone spiking the Grammy. Yeah, yeah. that one I rolled out. That, yeah, people me too. Would have, people would have remembered that one. But all right. You yeah, got it, Kevin. You. You're in control of the contract now. Two questions remain. Here's your next one. Rapper Snoop Dogg and actor Cameron Diaz went to high school together. Diaz recounted that Snoop sold her some weed. What was his response? Again, rapper Snoop Dogg and actor Cameron Diaz, I should say actress Cameron Diaz, went to high school together. Diaz recounted that Snoop sold her some weed. What was his response? Was it A, I might have sold her some of that white girl's weed. B, <laughs> the only weed I was selling her was oregano. C, I'm charitable. What can I say? Or D, I can tell you one thing. I did not sell her any of the good stuff. The charitable one. I'm charitable. What can I say? That's my guess. 
<laughs> and that is incorrect. <laughs> that sounds like something Snoop would say. Yeah, yeah it would. But not the answer we're looking for here. Paul, again, choices for you are A, I might have sold her some of that white girl weed. B, I, the only weed I was selling her was oregano. Or D, oh, I could tell you one thing. I did not sell her any of the good stuff. Uh, I'll go with oregano. I don't know. You should have went with the white girl weed. Yeah. <laughs> That's my second choice. <laughs> yeah, I might have sold her some of that white girl weed is what Snoop had said in that interview about it. All right. He would say that too, wouldn't he? Yes. That's what I was hoping you would latch on to there, thinking who was ta- talking there. But all right. Yeah. No, nobody got that one there, so we still need two questions to complete the contract. So we're back to you, Kevin. Okay. Kevin, at one point, Rebecca Black's Friday broke what YouTube record? Again, at one point, Rebecca Black's Friday video broke what YouTube record? Was it A, most, di- most dislikes with 3 million? B, most comments with 5 million. C, least watch percentage of video per viewer with under 5%. Or D, most reports of spam with 1.2 million. I'm going to say the most dislikes. Most dislikes with 3 million is correct. Yep. Which, so many dislikes, yet so many people watch that song and can still uh, recite it and listen to it in their heads. Actually, I kn- I'm not one of them. Uh, I've, I've, You've I, never heard that. I've heard like bits and pieces of the chorus, but I've actually never seeked out to actually listen to the song. I'm like, uh, you don't make me. I, I'm okay without it personally. I, I think my life is better, but that that's just my own <laughs> humble opinion. But, Kevin, that's the second question right for you, and that means there's one more question left in this contract, and here it comes to you. All right. Kevin, 50 Cent made a rumored $100 million as a minority shareholder when this beverage brand was sold to Coca-Cola. Again, 50 Cent made a rumored $100 million as a minority shareholder when this beverage brand was sold to Coca-Cola. What beverage brand was it? Was it A, Vitamin Water, B, Powerade, C, Sobe, or D, Nestle. Hmm. Vitamin water. Vitamin water is the correct answer. You complete the contract. All right. Yeah. Part shareholder in the original company made $100 million off the sale to Coca-Cola. That's wild. I'm in the wrong business doing this, to say the least. Right. All right. Um, Kevin, $2,900 in your bank. Uh, $1,200 in the pot right now. If you banked it, that would put you at 4100 just 900 away from winning it all. Take that money and bank it, give control back to Paul, or risk it and try to win it with it, possibly the next contract. What do you want to do? Let's go for it. You want to risk it. All right. He's a gambling man. Let's see if it pays off for him. Put the board in motion and win. You are ready. All right. No more questions about Snoop Dogg's weed. Stop. Food and drink for $700 a question. Trends for $300 a question. And the contract is three questions. Exactly. Yeah. I'm going to go with, I'm going to play conservative, so to speak, just in case I get one wrong. Trends. Okay. Going with trends. All right. Trends for a three question contract here, making this contract. Worth $900 here. Under the category of trends here, here is your first one, sir. Kevin, the 2016 viral dance trend is the Running Man Challenge is set to what song? Again, the 2016 viral dance trend, the Running Man Challenge, is set to what song? Is it A, My Boo by the Ghost Town DJs, B, Running Man by Soul For Real, C, At Night by Montel Jordan, or D, I want to be your lady, maybe, by Jodeci. Uh, I want to be your lady, maybe. Mm. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. I think Paul knows it. <laughs> um, I'm feeling he I might know song. it. LMA, LMA for the win. Or, well, I'm not winning. I'm losing by a lot. <laughs> All right. Well, um, but, yeah, it's, it's my boo, LMA. My boo, you said? Yeah, yeah it's, it's absolutely my boo. It is my boo. You're correct. Well done. 
Yes. Love the song. The challenge was fun. Surprised it didn't last longer. But again, that's yeah, just, that's right. just me. All right. Uh, that is one question down. Two more to go to complete the contract. Here's your next one. All right, Paul, who who is the artist behind the anthem Watch Me Whip, Watch Me Nay Nay? Is it T Wayne, no. Ao and Teo, no. Darwin, or Salento? Salento. Salento is correct. I don't, that's good. All right, that's two questions down. One more to go to complete the contract. Here it is. Which of these is not a type of chia pet? Again, which of these is not a type of chia pet? Is it A, DJ Khaled, B, Bob Ross, C, Deadpool, or D, Groot? Oh, I'm between two. Uh, Deadpool? No, he actually does have a chia pet. I almost bought it for Sonny for Christmas this year, but I was oh, like, I, I did. It's it's not Deadpool, so Kevin a chance think... to steal the contract here if you know it. Again, which of these is not a type of chia pet? Is it DJ Khaled, Bob Ross, or Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy? I'm gonna say DJ Khaled. I'm gonna say another one. You're the champion for the season. Well done. You got it. All right. <laughs> I knew Bob Ross was one for sure. Yeah. Hell of a job, Paul. Well Hell done. Of a job. Congratulations to you. Kevin with the big win there. $5,000 makes you the season one champion here on Bullseye. We will talk to you again here in just a minute. Paul, you cannot say you played horribly. You did You did the absolute best you could. You had fun with the yeah. questions. You had, yeah. you had a great time with us, and you are definitely not leaving here empty-handed. For coming in, for coming in second place here for our tournament of champions, you're picking up another fifty thousand dollars in winnings. So you leave out of here this season here on Bullseye with a grand total of one hundred and one thousand dollars. Congratulations to you! Nicely done, Paul. Congratulations yeah, to you. Any parting words for the folks at home? Um, well, good luck to Kevin in the bonus round, right? He has to play that or no? He does. Yeah, good luck. All right. We're good. glad to have you back. And hopefully we'll have you back for some more series here down the road, all right? And Kevin Henry. Yes, sir. Congratulations to you, sir. That is a huge win. And that is a one hundred thousand dollar victory for you plus we'll give you the five thousand dollars on top of what you had there so so far not only can you call yourself season one champion but you also have a grand total of one hundred and ninety one thousand six hundred dollars in cash would you like to try to play for another nine hundred thousand dollars on top of that gee let me think uh sure I figured I didn't have to twist your arm that hard. We're going to pause for the cause and take a commercial break. When we come back, it'll be the final bonus island of the season where Kevin can take his 100000 and try to turn it into a million or more. And we'll do that right after the break here on Bullseye. Stay with us. Welcome back to Bullseye here with our Season 1 champion, Mr. Kevin Henry, who so far has picked up $100,500 $100, today, a grand total of $191,600 so far. But now he's going to have a chance to see if he can't turn that $100,000 into possibly a million or more if he can beat the Lightning one final time. Are you ready? Yes, I am, and I wonder... How much of this do I owe you in royalties for our gold rush budget? Because we've gone over budget this year. Um, let's put it this way. I've accounted for that. And I said, I'm ciphering money from other shows. So like, if, it, it'll, it'll all balance out in the checkbooks at the end of the year. Good but, enough. Let's play. For now, let's head to Bonus Island. 
Oh, who's this lady? She can escort me over. You brought someone in special for me, didn't you? I did. This is Candace. How you doing, darling? Thank you, Candace and Kevin. Here we are, the final bonus island of the of the season here. And plays just like all the other ones, except this one pays a whole lot better. Here's what you got to do. Of course, as you know, on the board we have cash amounts ranging from $250 to $750. Um, but that's not so much what we're worried about here. This one, we are simply looking for you to lock in one bullseye on each window or survive 10 spins. If you can do either one of those in this case, you're going to win one million dollars however we've not had anyone get all three bullseyes in a single spin all season long it can be done i've done it in practice at least twice but if you can pull it off right here it won't be one million dollars you're winning you're winning two million dollars cash oh boy if you decide to be gutsy and daring. However, if the lightning should strike you down at any point in time, the game is over, you'll walk away with nothing, but you get to keep the 100000 and the Season 1 title that you won in the upfront game, all right? So it's not so much about all the money here that you're going to pick up. It's more along the lines of can you get a bullseye in each window or survive 10 spins. That's all we're looking for here. So if you're ready... We are all cheering you on. We look, want you to win this money. Best of luck. Let's get started with our first spin of Bonus Island. Here we go. Right, Candace said before she left the stage that she'll give me her number if I hit the $2 million, So let's see if I can get it. Stop. 500 250 250 All right. That's one spin down. Nine more to go. If no you, phone number. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go. No phone number yet, but I ain't saying she a gold digger. But y'all know the rest. Here we go. Spin number two. <laughs> All right, this is just fun money now. Stop. Two fifty. Two fifty. Two fifty. Again, if this was a different show, that would be an automatic winner, but it's not in this case. All right, that's two down. Eight spins to go. You want to take that at seventeen fifty as consolation cash, or go on? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. All right, looking for some bullseyes. Could use them. Stop. Oh no! Oh my goodness! Lightning caught you in that top left window, Kevin. Ugh. Ugh, I am so sorry, sir. I was not. You know what? If if I were to win it that way, it would have been. Uh, I would have had to have really earned it. And your show and my show are the same in that matter. Giving away a million dollars is no easy task. No, it is it is not, and it it's hard to be done. But we we tried we tried diligently, but it was not meant to be this time around. But hey, you cannot call yourself. You cannot say leave out of here with your head held down. You are the season one champion, and again, you walk away with the title and a hundred and ninety-one thousand six hundred dollars to your credit, sir. With our thanks for playing. Very grateful. All right, and folks, that is going to do it. There, we are completely done here with Bullseye. I want to thank everybody who's been a part of this season, because again. I'll, I will be the first to admit I was not a fan of this series coming in, but by the time I got a couple episodes in, I realized how how great this game is in the the whole Barry and Enright production, and it truly is the the third the third wheel on the the three headed monster that is Joker's Wild, Tic Tac Doe, and now Bullseye. So hey, I've at least had them all on the channel. Will we do a second season of Bullseye? Maybe somewhere down the line. We'll see if we get have time and get to it. But in the meantime, between time, I do want to thank each and every one of you out there for watching because this has been a fun season. 
If you want to go back and visit any of the highlights of some of the great games we had this season, check out the full season playlist here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe to see other great game show games like this in the past, present, or future, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And until we see you again for our next season of Bullseye or our next series coming down the line, which is going to be another good one. Um, actually, it's going to be one that I've personally been waiting for because we're staying with the Barry and Enright production because we're bringing back the fourth season of Tic Tac Doe. We'll start right here on, on Fridays next week right here on the channel. But hopefully you look forward to that. In the meantime, between time, uh, thank you for watching. And remember, whatever you do in life, Make sure you hit the bullseye. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, folks. This is your announcer, Michael Gentry, speaking for Bullseye. A Barry and Enright production in association with MBG Productions.